Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Vivaldi Web Browser version 4 is now rolling out. It started rolling out earlier today on the 9th of June 2021. So this means we have gone from version 3.8 to version 4 in this latest stable release of the Vivaldi Web Browser. Now version 4 comes with a couple of new features and you know some new add-ons. And I will try my best to cover the key highlights for you in a in as shortest time as possible in this video today. Now, basically the mission statement for version 4 of Vivaldi is it gives you a real alternative to big tech. And version 4 comes with uh, privacy, more privacy tools, including beta releases of a built-in mail client, calendar tool, and also a feed reader. Now, before I get into those new features, another little handy add-on that's been added is you can now translate a web page directly in Vivaldi. So if I go to a web page that is in Russian, you can see in the top right of my address bar, I have an option to translate this page. And I click on that and I can go from Russian to any language of my choice. And I also have a couple of other options here as well. And I think this is handy. And this is in line with the, you know, real alternatives to big tech because many people use Google Translate and Vivaldi is just giving you a more private option with their own translation tool now built straight into the Vivaldi web browser. Now, after updating to version 4, what you'll notice is a new tab page that will appear. And I took a screenshot of it earlier because obviously I've updated and I wanted to refer back to this um, for the purposes of this video. And it gives you three options, essentials, classic and fully loaded. And uh, Vivaldi is saying that this is to help new users, you know, who are coming across from other web browsers. And it basically gives you a one click solution. And the essentials you get, it does not track you, add and tracker blocker and translations. And then classic, you get the three options here. And then you get panels, status bar and fast forward and rewind added. And then fully loaded, you get both the options in essentials and classic. And then you also get the mail client calendar and feeds added as well. And then you just push finish. And it's a one click solution to set up the browser in as short a time as possible. Now, the new mail tool comes with the ability to automatically detect uh, threads and mailing lists. Plus, it can also categorize your mail to make it easier to find and also has a search tool in it. And it also supports RMAP and POP3 accounts and also obviously um, uh, uh, Google Mail, Gmail, and it allows you to access all your mail clients from a single inbox. And as I mentioned earlier, I use the essential option. So the mail calendar and feeds uh, wasn't added, um, you know, um, automatically. So if you want to enable it, you can go to the menu and you just go to settings. And then under general, you just scroll down to the bottom of the page. And yeah, under productivity features, you just tick enable mail calendar and feeds. And it pops it into the left here in the settings menu, mail, calendar, and feeds. And here is obviously where you can set up your mail client now in Vivaldi. And you know, you have your RMAP POP3 options and some other preferences. And I'm not going to set this up now because that would be too long for the purposes of this video. But you can go check this out for yourself. And then Vivaldi Calendar, which is also now built directly into the browser integrates with the browser through an event editor and quick commands. And it gives you a range of online calendar services that are supported, including a Vivaldi hosted option. And uh, that's along with CalDAV servers. And you can also choose to keep your calendar offline and private within Vivaldi itself. So that is a handy feature as well that is added to version four. And you know, this is obviously where you set it up and you can go check that out for yourself as well. And then you have the feed reader finally. And basically what this does is it lets you subscribe to news feeds direct from your address bar. And you know, whenever you detect a, a feed on that page, a button will appear that can be clicked and then you can add that feed to your list of subscriptions. So I'm just going to go to the support website. And yeah, you can see it's detected a feed, page offers feeds, you click on it. And you can preview that or you can subscribe to that feed. So that is also a handy feature added to version 4. Now, as always, if you would like to see if you have the latest version of the web browser, you just go to your menu again, help, check for updates. 
And the latest version you should be on is Vivaldi version 4.0.2312.24. Now, if you use Vivaldi as your standard regular web browser, your main web browser, this will most probably take place in the background. And if we head back to help about, we can see that Vivaldi version 4 has also been bumped up to the latest Chromium version 91.0.4472.79 because obviously like other Chromium based web browsers Vivaldi is based on the open Chromium source platform. And then as I mentioned I've only covered some of the key highlights in as short a time as possible in this video but if you would like a more in-depth look um, you can always head over to the Vivaldi support web page and you can see a uh, Vivaldi version 4 uh, rolled out on June the 9th with our biggest launch of the year we aim to give you a real alternative to big tech and that's what I mentioned earlier and I will leave a link to this web uh, page in the description box below for you to go through on your own as this you know there's quite a bit going on here and I'm not going to go through all of this in this video and then if you go right down to the bottom of the page you will see uh, that you have an option where you have a change log and if you go there you will see an in-depth look of you know version 3.8 to 4 you can see now all the changes that have been make, made in depth as an in-depth you know look here as a, a one look reference you can check them all out for yourself in this change log and as i mentioned i will leave this in the description box below so i hope you found this video useful once again thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one